Hey guys, Brian from PFC here with a new drill for you or something to add to your, your training list. A wise guy once said that when you can't measure what matters, you make the things that you can measure matter. And that's that's not a good thing. That's kind of an ass backwards thing. So we're calling this barricade uh, metrics. So what are the two things we're most commonly measuring when we're taking or training on gun? Speed and accuracy. We have a total time for whatever the tasks are. And then we have an accuracy standard on a target, uh, whether it's steel, we hit it, we didn't hit it, we knocked it down, we didn't knock it down, or if we're shooting for bullseyes or, uh, or closest to the hole, whoever, uh, whoever wins. Um, things that we cannot measure that are very, very important in the fight. So what are those things? How about amount of exposure? Am I exposing a little bit of my body or am I exposing a lot of my body? How about efficiency? Now normally efficiency is measured a lot of times in time, but if we've got a stage with a lot of running and we have a guy who's jackrabbit, he might be horribly inefficient on a series of tasks and he might be very efficient on some others and he's making up that time. Uh, how about safety? Safety to myself? safety to someone else. How about total number of steps? Most of these things don't get measured at all. So all we're doing here in this demonstration, and I encourage you to do the exact same thing, put a camera down range, have somebody videotape you, is four different varieties of attacking a series of barricades from left to right. What are those four varieties? The first one, the least efficient one in our opinion, is refusing to run the gun bilaterally, keeping the gun only on the strong side and sucking up super tight, as tight as we possibly can get to cover. Uh, in these particular drills we're doing right here, that's forcing the shooter to dismount the gun up or down to get around to the other side, overexpose on the opposite side and working reloads. It gets kind of goofy and, uh, and crazy. Next, a little bit better, still sucking up to the barricade, still sucking up to that thing. However, taking and transferring and running the gun bilaterally. Now, what's another thing this is gonna expose that we normally aren't measuring? How about equipment? So the efficiency of things like slings. Slings are great, they're a fantastic tool when they're a fantastic tool. Other times they hinder us and they can hold us back and diminish performance. Third level that we're looking at and we're measuring. Now we're gonna back up and achieve proper interval, what we call proper interval in a flat fight, which is arms extension and then a big boy step back. But still refusing to take and run that gun bilaterally so the gun is gonna stick over on the dominant side. What's that gonna cause? Weakness as far as overexposure when we're coming around the support side of a barricade. And then category four, the highest level of training that we're looking for, which is running the gun bilaterally and maintaining proper interval for that fight off the barricade. It minimizes the inefficiencies that we have. So look at everything. Look at exposure, look at total task time, look at number of steps, look at the way you're conking yourself in the chin and the, uh, and the mouth with the buttstock of your weapon as you're working around a barricade, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Give this one a try. We think you guys will like it a lot. Stay safe.